All right, hello everyone. My name is James Crawford, and this is my talk on the end of the imports mailing list. A um, little bit of an introduction. I've been editing OpenStreetMap for about four years now, and for the last two of those years, I've been a lot more in the import space, namely with the Florida land use import. So if you go to OpenStreetMap.org today and you look in the state of Florida, you'll notice that it's a bit surprisingly green, and that's because I had spent a lot of work bringing in um, a public domain data set from the Florida state government. Um, so I want to get started by uh, going over what the imports li mailing list really is. The imports mailing list stemmed out of the imports guidelines, which was created way back in OpenStreetMap history in 2008 by this user named Johto and then built on by the community. And um, one year later, the list was created in response. I've done lots of interviews and dug through lots of really old archives to try to figure out who exactly created this list and what discussion led up to it, but I couldn't find anything. So it just kind of came into existence, I'm guessing. Um, but the whole point of the guidelines, um, essentially, are to sort of regulate imports. Because um, at this time in OpenStreetMap especially, uh, imports were very important because the map was mostly blank. So anything we could get that we could bring into the map from somewhere else that someone had already done would be really great for us. And so we needed a way to regulate that so we could say, is this compatibly licensed? Can we bring this in legally? Um, also, are you like prepared to do this? Like, are you capable of operating these tools? Um, is your workflow correct? Is this going to work out well for the map? Is this data good quality, et cetera, et cetera? And um, so part of that process was that you had to post a request for comment on the imports mailing list. So you would post a thread and um, link to your documentation. And other users would review your work and give you feedback. And that was in place until about July of last year. Um, I like to show this picture when I talk about this topic um, to display kind of how uh, clunky the mailing list is now. Um, if you go to the imports archives today, this is what you'll see. It's sorted by month, and then in each month you can choose to sort by thread, subject, author, date, but there's also no search function, so you can't search for anything here. So if you are looking for something, you either need to know what month it was posted or kind of have a link to it from somewhere else, or s like search month by month. And it's uh, pretty uh, daunting, to be honest. And so uh, I wanted to go over some problems that I noticed with the way the list works. Um, like I said, there's no search. With it sorting by date, it makes it difficult to find anything um, for any threads you're looking for. And also, if you're not subscribed to the list already, you cannot reply to like an ongoing topic. So if you are notified of a topic that exists on the mailing list, but you're not subscribed to the mailing list, uh, even if you do subscribe, it's not going to send you that topic. And the only way you can reply to a topic is by replying to the mail it sent you of that topic. And if you're not on the list and it doesn't send it to you, then you can't reply to it. So you have to make a new thread, which is um, confusing, to say the least. Um, and, often, and a lot of times, uh, local community members, for whatever you're importing, are not going to be on the imports mailing list. It's a very low population list already, and it's extremely unlikely that pretty much anyone you'll meet will be subscribed to this list in particular. And um, for many years, the import guidelines themselves didn't give you very much instruction on what you're supposed to post onto the imports list. Um, so a lot of users would come to the list and say, hey, I'm importing bike racks in this city. And that would be their message. And then everyone who responds would have to be like, well, where's your documentation? Where's your licensing information? They'd have to harass you um, because you had no idea what you had to post. And, um, and then it's waste everyone's time. And some more problems. The channel itself, for many years, has been kind of dying. It's kind of a relic of the past. And so people, when you lose interest, you kind of just stop talking on the list. And so nowadays, there's very limited members. And so the support you would get on any topic you post would be very limited. And um, because it's an email format, uh, it's difficult to format text at all. Like you can't bold things, you can't use italics, you can't like put blocks. Like the most you can do is quote, so like a little arrow to the right, and then the per previous person's message. That's about the extent of what you can format. And you can't add any images unless you're like smart and you know how to do the like create a private GitHub repository, create a fake issue for it, and then upload an image to that issue, and then use the the GitHub CDN to like link the image into your imports list or upload it to some other image client, but this kind of hellish um, walk is not really um, great when you're trying to just share a screenshot of your process or something like that. 
And then also the environment of the list can really discourage um, people from joining. It's like if you're trying to post an import, you can get really discouraged by people being rude or, or uh, needlessly mean. And also other users in the local community may not wish to join as well with um, seeing the kind of behavior that uh, is exhibited on these lists. Um, here's a picture of Florida from which I imported. And uh, the reason I wanted to show you this picture is um, the required uh, discussion on the imports mailing list that I had to post for this looked like this. That's the whole thread. So there's me, one guy who responded, and then me responding to him. And that approved this uh, about 30 million data object import. Um, so that's kind of an example of the whole nobody's there point. Um, and so I like to include that. And so the transition, last year I presented about Florida. And, um, and then I complained a lot about the whole import process as a whole. Um, there's a lot of problems with the, there was a lot of problems especially then with the guidelines where there's a lot of outdated information and there's a lot of ambiguous information. So it would say, uh, well, you should do this, but it's not required. Or like, you should do this, but I'm not really sure. And that's not very useful when you need like strict guidelines to like regulate the quality of something of these kind of massive scales. And so in um, June of 2023, after uh, State of the Map in Richmond, I made a proposal to transition from the imports list to the community forum, which had been introduced about uh, a little over a year prior to then. So it had had enough time to sort of stake its ground and say, I'm not leaving, and also prove itself to be um, kind of an equalizer to the mailing list, where it's, a, it's not really a chat room, where it has full topics, but it's also sort of a, um, a universal place, because many, many international communities participate now on the, the community forum instead of the mailing list. And the proposal was approved the next month. Um, I wanted to include this as well. I've also been revising the, I've also spent a lot of time revising the import guidelines to make them a lot more clear and concise. And this is one of the things I really like that I included. This is um, a template I composed to uh, include all the information about your uh, import before you post it. This was not a thing that existed back in the mailing list days, um, but it basically includes, you need to link your wiki page, you need to link the, where you're getting it, um, you can download it here, uh, et cetera, et cetera, so that all this information is immediately available to any reviewer so they don't have to, to sleuth on your behalf for something that you really should have posted yourself. And so I made it way easier with this template. And this is now um, the import proposal uh, tag on the community forum. So how that works is whenever you make a new proposal for an import, you tag it with this tag, import hyphen proposal, and then you post it to whatever local community you want. So it uh, achieves both the purpose of getting expert review, because anyone can review this import proposal tag, but also local community review, because it's automatically posted to your local thread. Um, anyone in your local community can see it and immediately respond as well. And also, it's, this is the view you can see, and it's immediately clear that it's much easier to read than the imports list. It's not sorted by month or topic. It's sort well, it is sorted by topic, not by month. And so you can see immediately all the topics um, that are import proposals. And also on this uh, community forum, there's a function of search. You can immediately also just search for whatever you're looking for. If you if you heard about an import in Indonesia, you can type in Indonesia import and it'll show right up. And I want to remind you again of where it came from and where it went to. Uh, a lot easier to read, I, in my opinion at least. I mean, to some people it may be a little different, but. And finally, I wanted to include this slide. Um, this is from oh, this Wikipedia page. Um, which is a page about uh, editing behavior. And I think this really applies to OpenStreetMap as well, because it's about a Wikipedia is also a volunteer space. And the whole um, principle behind this idea is that if you see something, you know, clearly wrong and um, you're careful about it, you really should just go and do it. Like, you, you, can, you can say, hey, this, um, these guidelines are nine years out of date, and this isn't a point that is like applied in the last decade. Just remove it. Like, just go ahead and take ac action, take initiative, and get it done. And I, I, I really like to. Th I feel like this applies not just to Wikipedia, not just OpenStreetMap Wiki, but to OpenStreetMap itself. You see a road clearly wrong, nine years out of date. Say, you don't don't just sit there. Say this is a bad database. Go in, fix that road. That's all I got. I don't want y'all to miss your uh, uh, outro speech, so 
Come to me if you have questions.